tonight at 8.30. Now though, it's Shortland Street. What's the verdict? More we'll sleep. Which is what I'll get as soon as I finish my shift. You have finished your shift. You don't have to wait. I could give you a lift home. I'm glad one of us is confident. So much so that I think we should take a couple of days off to celebrate and recuperate. We have an outbreak of Clostridium difficile. Wait, where's Mackay? Unfortunately, I haven't been able to reach him. I'm instituting a lockdown of the surgical ward. And our hospital that will have to live without us for just a little while longer. What hospital? <laughs> Get in. Oh, wait a minute. We need to get you home. Oh, I don't want to puke in my car. Here, you can use this. Now get in. <coughs> oh, maybe I should go and see Sarah first. It's so weird. You'll be fine after a sleep. You'll be right as rain tomorrow. Good. Oh, feels like a flu. Now this shakes, my brain feels like porridge. If it is a virus, I don't suppose there's much Sarah can do, really. No, no, I guess not. Maybe I should go and apologise to Maya and Vasa, though. You already did. What? I was there, you apologised. You don't remember. No, no, I don't. Oh, you're in a bad way, eh? How about getting that rest you need and talking to them when you're fresh, yeah? Anyway, I'm fine to drive. You carry on back to the hospital. Sorry, there's no way I'm letting you drive like you are. Tracy would kill me if I didn't do the right thing here. Please. OK, thanks. The main thing is to get you home safe and sound. Notify all wards as per protocol. Right away. What? You're shutting down the whole hospital? Just the surgical wards, but everyone needs to be informed. Say again the name of this, uh, the superbug? The clost Clostridium Clost difficile. Notify security, too. Give them enough information so they can explain why visitors are being kept away. Right, you are. Mackay, Nugent here. Where the hell are you? Yvonne is trying to raise him. I'm checking every five minutes. I think he must be out of range. And I'm happy to liaise with infection control. Well, I'll be having a talk with, uh, with Mackay when he... when he drags himself back from wherever he happened. You all right? Yep. <clears throat> it's just, um, <clears throat> I just want to keep in the loop with the, situ the situation. Yeah. Will do. Are you sure you're okay? You, you don't seem it. Yeah. Can you give me a bin? Give me a bin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this was a genius idea. True happiness is moments of small joy. Oh, plus he's a philosopher. <laughs> is there no end to this man? Mm. So after this, uh, you want to go back to the batch and watch the sunset? I second that motion. Hmm. Do you think, while we're here, not that we need to, but maybe we should just check in with the office? Cold turkey kicking in, huh? No, but I notice you're starting to twitch a bit. Me? Huh. <laughs> I couldn't care less. That place could burn down and I'd be like, meh. Same. Same. Got any change? Enough. <sighs> go a day without checking our voicemail. I am only doing this for you. I want to make sure you are completely relaxed. Maya, look at you. You're like a gambling addict at a slot machine. <laughs> I'm not the addict here, Missy. It's Rachel here. We're just checking in. Uh, okay, he's right here. Callum Mackay. What? Everything on the side is dirty, everything on the side is clean. And never the twain shall meet. If it helps, I am familiar with barrier nursing protocols. Uh, just checking, you've been out of the game a few years. And from what I can see, nothing's changed. New bugs, new treatments. But the principles are the same, so if you don't mind, I'd like to get back to some nursing. Uh, we're on the same side here. I have to make sure every staff member is up with the play, okay? And I have patients that need caring for. Excuse me. Is everything all right? Fine, thanks. I hope you two aren't still offside about your girls. No, we've dealt with that. Um, Wendy's just a little stressed out because of the lockdown. OK, because we all need to work together. I know that I'm harping on, but this isn't the time or the place for personal issues. Really, I'm fine. You settle on the couch and I'll make you a drink. <laughs> then I'll leave you to rest. I can manage. I'll be out of your way in two ticks. Feed up and we'll get some fluids into you. Then will you go? I promise. You drank on my bike blaster. Good patient. Is ginger ale okay for now, though? 
Cheers. Best thing for a funny tummy, Ginger Ale. My uncle makes his own. Plain for the kids, alcoholic for the grown-ups. We tried switching them one time, but we got sprung when my cousin threw up everywhere. <laughs> what a mess. There we go. Thanks. This damn headache. All the more reason to keep your fluids up. Oh, jeez, damn it. What have you done? I made a mess. Oh, don't worry, I'll get a cloth. No! No, sorry. Um, just relax and I'll clean that up. This is ridiculous. Do I really need to be in here? It's a case of better safe than sorry. How could I even catch this bug? I just strolled through the wall with Sarah Potts. It was not like I came into contact with patients. It's still possible you picked it up from a surface? Unlikely, but possible. Surely you could find me a single room, though. Sorry. Oh, the new private patients are going to love sharing rooms. I understand there'll be dedicated wards set up soon. Yeah, uh, before time. I thought you were against the uh, public-private partnership. I am. Unfortunately, the politicians think it's a great quick fix. Or well, they're having to pour more funds into infrastructure and training. However... Sorry, I, I have to see how the lockdown is going. Fine, whatever. Just drag my eyes. Sorry, but back into work. How was he? Annoying. Well, he's the uh, board member everyone has to hate. He wants to go private. Ironic, considering his objections to the plan. I just can't imagine how he got symptomatic so quickly. Oh, who knows? He had a chest infection last week, so it could be that. All right, well, I'll see what I can do. Fingers crossed he's all clear. Oh, that's sweet, Chris. You do care. Mm, just enough to get him out of this hospital. Good luck. Ooh, thanks. Why don't you have one of these help you drift off? Actually, the way I'm feeling, sleep might be a good option. I'll just make you a cuppa, then I'll leave you in peace. Watch some trash television. If that doesn't knock you out, nothing will. I should call Tracy. Uh, hot chocolate? Thanks. I should call Tracy. I have a nap first year. If she heard you rambling on now, she might freak. Why don't you take one of these sleeping pills the doctor prescribed? Might help you get a decent rest. I just had one. Sorry, when? Just now, you saw me. I suggested you might take one, that's all. <laughs> Boy, you sure need some sleep. Yeah. Thanks. Are you sure I didn't just take one? I was right here the whole time. Pop a pill, and I'll finish making a hot chocolate, and then I'll finally leave you in peace. Mr. Blanchard, no problem. Look, I understand the attitude. I'd be a bit stroppy if it was my girl being bullied. I feel worse that it's my girl doing the bullying. She's picked it up off her damn stepfather. They learn from their parents, I guess. Well, the main thing is we're open about it and we do our best to sort it. And who knows, maybe our girls could even be friends. Maybe. We have to get on to. And if I've been a bit abrupt, it's because I've had to relocate from a senior position to here. You know, it feels like I've walked out on my whole life. And I guess I've been taking it out on people. On you. What's a big move you've had to make? Well, how about I pull my head in a bit and we put the past in the past? I don't see why not. Thanks, Wendy. I appreciate it. Any more positive results? Outside surgical, none. Oh, thank goodness for that. Thank good nursing practice, you mean. That is exactly what I mean, Matron. Mm -hmm. Our friend's results, by the way. 
And the winner is? I've got no idea I'll link Sarah, to be honest. Sarah, um, Mr Nugent's results. Oh. Just to let you know, our CEO is on his way back from his break. He sends his best wishes. <laughs> I bet. Well? Uh, all clear for Clostridium. Good news. Except that I've been stuck in here, I've probably picked it up anyway. Unlikely. We've taken every precaution for you and every other patient. Mm, and uh, not to put too fine a point on it, but it's us who have to protect ourselves from you. Because uh, you are clear for Clostridium, but positive for Salmonella. <sighs> so, anything off you might have eaten in the last 24 hours? A chicken salad wrap from a service station. Uh, I thought the chicken looked a bit pink. Either way, sign me out of here. Yeah, I think that can probably be arranged. We'll get onto it now. Mm -hmm. If I have picked up any of your damn bugs from this place... William, we have done exactly the right thing by you and every other patient. We identified the problem, we followed protocol to the letter, and we contained what could have been a serious situation. I hope you'll bear that in mind. We are discharging Mr Nugent, Ward 8. Uh, did you get Mrs West's room cleaned? Done. I couldn't wait for the cleaners to come in, so I did it myself. Why? Well, with the lockdown, it was going to take them a couple of hours to get to it, so... No, I don't want nurses stepping outside their duties. If there's a situation, you let me know so I can get it actioned, OK? Besides, they're specifically trained for isolation cleaning. I was careful. I did a good job. Marks for initiative. All the same. Let them know they can go over it again so we all know it's been done properly. It's busy and she's stressed. Don't take it personally. You did good. I was just about to leave. I thought I'd bring you a blanket. So my phone rang. Yeah, I couldn't get to it in time. Sorry. Wouldn't you rather get some shut eye? Tracy. Call her back after, eh? I'm fine now. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy your rest. I suggest you take tomorrow off if you can. Now, either way, keep your fluids up and just light food tonight. Nice of you to finally show up. Sorry, how does this concern the DHB? I'm sure they'll be concerned when their CEO and their 2IC make themselves unavailable in a crisis. There was an accident with the phones. Both phones. No landline, no internet. You've done yourself in the hospital proud. You uh, have my personal thanks for, for seeing me right. Oh, all the staff were primed, hand in place. When things go wrong, the system deals with it because it's been set up well. An experienced team doesn't have to depend on its managers to be in place 24-7. No, just when it counts. And not leaving a clear chain of command is the poorest kind of management. Lucky Warner was on board. So how's the beach? Just tell me what the hell's been going on. I don't know how you do it. I'm never organised enough in the morning to make breakfast and lunch. Poverty helps. I thought your husband had a service station. Did. We had to sell. They never made that much anyway. I thought selling petrol was a licence to print money. Not after all the overheads were paid off. Well, that smells nice. I'm not bad with a recipe now. Anything from soups and pastas to my own soaps and cleaners. <laughs> Boy, you really are focused. <laughs> Murray's great, but I'm the one who does everything. Men. Mm, men. How's your girl coming along? Okay. Quiet. A few self-esteem issues. I struggle to get her to talk to me about it. Well, I can't seem to do a thing right by my girl either. 
she plays that many games these days, and she's such a good liar at this age. Mm, butter wouldn't melt. But as a parent, I just seem to lurch from one disaster to the next. Mm, I know that feeling only too well. <laughs> so far, we've had no cases outside the surgical unit. Touch wood, but it looks like we've contained it. And the compromised patients, how are they responding? Uh, we've had to bring an HDU nurse down to special one, but the others are all doing well. What about theatre? We've reserved theatre six for Clostridium cases. The others are all operating as usual. Sounds like you're on top of it. Yeah. The media, are they sniffing around yet? Oh, we got in first and informed them. Why? They'll have a field day. They were grateful for the headline, so the byline is crisis averted. I also made sure that Jane from Infection Control was available for a photo. You might recall that Jane is not unattractive. Nice one. This would have been better kept under wraps. We might have kept it under the radar, but this way they're on our side, and it has to be said. The camera loves Jane. Yeah, they could turn on us if some angry relative starts screaming at their poor old Uncle Albert was getting sick here. Well, now you're back, you can deal with it. You might also think about nominating someone to fill in for you when you can't be contacted. OK, um, we'll take care of that. Is there anything else we need to know? That's about it. Call me if you have any questions. Thank you, and sorry this landed on you. No biggie. We blew it. Chris saved our bacon. Saved his bacon, you mean? Look, Nugent will use this against me. Guarantee it. So what if he does? This isn't all about you. We both know I'm hanging on to this job by my fingernails. He will put the worst possible spin on me not being on deck while all of this happened. And whose fault is that? You're the one who disabled our phones. It's a bit late to whine about it now. Plus, I make my own jam. Well. I try. It's a bit hit and miss. <laughs> and do you have a cow and make your own cheese as well? Oh, I'd love to have a cow. An acre or two, a couple of goats. Oh, typical city girl thinks the country's all green grass and sunny days. Well, when were you last on a farm? <laughs> True. I get jittery if I'm more than five k's from a decent cafe. <laughs> okay, so dinner, a cluster of right then DVDs. Perfect. Uh, don't forget you're taking Ola to school in the morning, yeah? No problem. Already in my diary. Uh, just as well with your memory. And she needs to go to netball after. Is that still cool? I am a slave to every need. All right, we'll pick you up at 7.30. Mm -hmm. okay. Night. Night. Sorry to nag him. Um, have it, I guess. <laughs> oh, she does that every time. The second she sees us together, she has to stick her oar in and remind the world that she had him first. She wasn't just being a parent? Oh, yeah, that's her other weapon. Well, she has to communicate with them about their daughter sometime. Trust me, she saw him paying me attention and did the whole alpha female thing. She barely stopped short of peeing in the corner. Well, she's not so bad once you get to know her. Since when have you been such a fan? Well, I haven't, but now I think she's not quite as hard as she thinks she is. <laughs> what? Maybe if you sat down over a cuppa sometime, you might see a different side to it. <laughs> oh, OK. Dinner will be an hour. Mm-hmm. Do you have to do that now? I'm comparing quotes. Can't it wait till tomorrow? Well, after our little getaway, I'm way behind. Well, come on. The time frame's not that bad. Well, it is, since you insisted William pay me a visit. And after today, I just... I can't afford to drop the ball again. Well, it's not your career on the line. No, it's both our careers. Oh, so it's all my fault, is it? I made us take a break. God forbid we have 24 hours away from the job. We should have been contactable. Yes, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have trashed your phone and you probably shouldn't have trashed mine. I didn't trash your phone. You made me drop it. Come on, it's just a bit of fun. Well, the fun goes on hold until I've got this restructure fully sorted.
Sarah? Look, I know you're about to run off to dinner, but I got Scotty's results back. Oh, great, thank you. I can't see anything much wrong. Raised white cell count, but only just above the normal range. Mm. Consistent with a minor infection, but not consistent with how weird he's being. No, and that concerns me. Give him a call? Yeah. I'd like to run a few more tests, maybe a lumbar puncture. It's not a meningitis picture, though, is it? No, but there's something definitely going on. I just don't know what. Hey, Scotty, it's Sarah here. It's um, about 7.30. Uh, we just got your test results back, and you have a raised white cell count, but that's pretty much it. So when you get this, give me a call, and we'll arrange a time for you to come in tomorrow. And in the meantime, try and get a good night's sleep. Hi, and don't worry about work, you big stress merchant. Everything's fine. So sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> there is one other thing that I can think of. Something cerebral, like a tumour. I hope not. Who's got a tumour? Oh, we don't know. We're talking about Scotty. Ah, right. But he didn't have dysphagia, though, or ataxia. No, but if it is a bleed or a tumour, you know how fast these things can progress. I'll give him a call later. Do you think that we should swing by on our way there? What about after? What, hun, I booked a table for eight if you want to drink first. Huh? <sighs> Scotty might be dying, but, oh, no, Maxwell must be fed. Exactly. Your point. <laughs> OK, we'll swing by after. Come on, then. Have a good one. Thanks. Our bank holiday matinee is one for all the family to enjoy when Glenn Close stars as the infamous Cruella de Vil in a bid to claim her ultimate fashion accessory. 102 Dalmatians features plenty of puppies today at 4 o'clock here on RTE1. Coming up after the break though, Mrs. Tem is the go-between in Doctors.